So there's one clip at Evo that I feel like I'll talk about first. Uh, I can confirm that we are working on a fighting game for Riot. Whoa, 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 whoa. I thought Steve was gonna kill me right here, by the way. Look at how quickly my arm comes up. See, he's already reaching. You see this shit? This is trouble in paradise. This motherfucker Steve's already reaching. I already knew that I could be in trouble, just like I know that graphic dinosaur came through with the Twitch Prime. The preemptive defensive stance. This is what I was missing during uh, what's it called? During the Dragon Ball Finals. Uh, you know, there's a lot of things this Evo that were going on. And I was in on one secret at Evo. There's only one secret, and it's because they demanded that I be in on it. Which is, I had to ask Tom Cannon, what are you working on? And he was going to reply with, we are working on a fighting game at Riot. I was in on it. I knew I was going to ask the question. Everything else after that, like, who, I don't know what's going to happen. And then Steve was there to just have his genuine reaction. He didn't know about it at all, which is hilarious because the next thing that happens here is I ask, like, do you guys have anything to show? Like, are, is there, like, more news or whatever? And this motherfucker, Steve, says, yeah, roll the trailer. And he points at the screen, right? When he says this, in my head, I was like, oh, shit, I got quadruple crossed. I thought that they told me to ask the question, but they told me Steve wasn't going to be in on it, but Steve was actually in on it, and he knew there was going to be a trailer, and I didn't. And I was like, holy shit, these motherfuckers are playing 4D chess. Look at Steve. Look at Steve go. I, I would love to share the juice oh. with you. I, I just can't. Um, Damn it. It's, uh, Steve's going to throw you off the stage. I'll tell you right now. You don't think I know? Run the trailer. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You can see there's... Okay. Do you see there's a moment where my face changes after run the trailer. When my mouth moved like that, legit, I thought I was being quadruple cross. I ha you have to understand, in this moment, I thought Steve was a quadruple <laughs> agent and that Steve knew some shit I didn't, but he didn't at all. That was just pure, natural, tasty Steve on the spot improv pretending to have a trailer for a brand new game that they just announced and i couldn't believe it just like i can't believe that grand oso pardo dropped the twitch prime thanks very much it was fucked up so i wasn't quintuple crossed in fact it was exactly what i thought but steve is just so fucking hard to predict that he said run the trailer and all of us were like could you imagine if he said that and riot's like all right well we gotta run the trailer what's the opinion on the grand blue game i didn't get to play it but i saw it at evo the best thing to me about grand blue i haven't played it yet i really want to try it the most important thing about grand blue is that grand blue exists so that guilty gear looks better the new guilty gear is definitely like they made guilty gear then they made dragon ball then they made grand blue which looks even better now they made the new guilty gear which looks even better than that so for me Regardless of how Grand Blue turns out, I, I doesn't matter if it's the best game in the world or I don't like it. Its existence makes the new Guilty Gear look better, so I am fucking about it. Because, bro, the new Guilty Gear, when I saw that fucking trailer, holy shit. All right, I'll play it. That was the very first bit of the game we saw right here. That's when they pick up the weapons. Oh, the music. I, the music kicking in. That's the stage transition. You can see the twinkle in my eye. I was close. I'm not going to lie. I was as close as I was to thanking Bio Badger for dropping the three months. You can see the twinkle. It was, I was close. And then they showed the character at the end. I'm like, who the fuck is that? That's in fact Slurpees and stuff dropping the 21 months. <laughs> 2020? What happened? The thing is, is you have to understand the way it worked in the arena is Tekken ended and they did their announcement and everything and everybody started piling out. And I was like, we have to wait for the Arxis announcement. We can't leave until Arxis announces whatever they're going to announce. So that when they said 
His holiness was coming to the stage. They said Daisuke. You have to understand, all of us were like, this is it. When they said he was coming to the stage, all of us knew it was a new gear. I knew it was a new gear. Everybody knew it had to be a new gear. And then as soon as the arc trailer came up, when the arc logo comes up and you hear the vroom of the, like as soon as the guitar, that first note hit, I was not prepared for what I was gonna see after. Okay. Oh, as soon, okay, as soon as I heard this, this is exactly what I'm talking about, the as soon as we heard, like in the beginning, you knew, it was already over. As soon as I heard that note, I knew that it was time for a new gear and I knew my body wasn't ready. First of all, incredible. At this point, it's very obvious it's a brand new game, right? Just the way it looks. It's on the Jumbotron and it's on a humongous screen in front of me. And I'm watching and it zooms in and I see these weapons. And it looked so beautiful. It was like the prettiest thing I've ever seen in my life, right? And if you had any doubt, as soon as this shows up on the screen, you know two motherfuckers are gonna pick this up and you're gonna see Soul Bad Guy and Kai fighting in the brand new Guilty Gear trailer. Oh, the music is so good too. It looks so fucking good. This game looks incredible. And Kai's new, ha like Kai's haircut. That is bullshit, oh my god, it's so fucking good. Look at the animation hit stop on this. Let me remove my camera so you can see his face. Like the animation hit stop and the way it leans through on, like the the game looks crazy. That is blaze. This right here looks like it's like a close slash or something. There's like an arena, there's like a transition here. This reminds me of when you get hit by like a back three in Injustice and get transitioned. Jesus, 2D, look at this. There's like a hit spot. It looks like some kind of hit zoom on counter hit 2D. Volcanic Viper. Bandit. Oh my God. It looks incredible. Like. It looks so good. And then the new homeboy with the double swords at the end. What the hell is this? Damn, he looks cool. The mask. He looks like, like my Warframe character. Look at like the way the run looks and the hit animation. The way he leans into it. Boom. It like the way this crunchy animation and the reel back after. It looks so good. Yeah, and then this seems like maybe a side dust or something that transitions. Look at the way he flips through the air and then counter hit 2D, the animation. Look at the way his mouth goes wide when he gets hit. The thing is, okay, so you don't know if in the actual game, like 2D when counter hit or something, will do this animation. You, you know, we're not sure. Could be a slow-mo for the trailer. But yeah, the sparks and like the slowdown and the facial animation he makes, that transition from like him getting hit to the volcanic viper is so fuck. Look at this. He gets hit by 2D and then starts the volcanic viper. And there's like this moment where you can see the red start to reflect off of the shadow. And then as he's getting hit, like you notice the shadow sparks, like the sparks on this go from red to like kind of fading him out in the background. That's just an uppercut. Man, this game. Bandit, what did he do in the air before that? It looked like a pretty familiar jump button. Yeah, it's jump K, jump slash, bandit. Man, it looks good. This game looks crazy. It's like unbelievable to me how beautiful this game looks. Gear confirmed to be playable for PS4 at Arc Revel World Tour Final. All right, hold up. I'm gonna send a message. I, I, wa I want you guys to know, after the stream is over, I'm sending a message to whoever I need to send a message to. Dear Mr. or Mrs. Arxis, I have a capture card and a dream. Please let me in. <laughs> I would like some footage for the people of the world to see Guilty Gear. What systems do I want to see go? I don't, yeah, variable wake up times. I, okay, that's an interesting one. I know a lot of people don't like it. Like, I think Gear is a complicated game. It has a lot of systems. 
But I don't feel like any of them are super obtuse. Maybe, yeah, probably danger time. Testament and rollback, those are your two questions. I would love rollback. I got to tell you, fighting him, fighting him netcode is, is a solved issue. Look at the other games that have already done it correctly. It's a solved issue. Is this Goichi? Oh, man. There are so many moments like this during the finals. No, it's a Spark from Sonic. Steve and I with the synced overhand. I really actually... So the thing is, I love this choice from Sonic to Spark. Because Bardock's going to run better mix-ups with GT Goku assist than reverse, probably. An air dash mix-up. Right Missed the air dash. This mix-up is fucked. He's legit just, like, guessing straight 50-50s over and over. He survived. He earned this by all defense. The air to air. I'll land in the sparking at the pickup. Go easy. Go straight back into the level three. But he's absolutely broken. It doesn't. The thing is, you're not supposed to be able to block that shit, right? Like that's the thing you have to think about. Is like a sparking mix-up where you do a jump in like that is designed to be a 50-50, right? Like when you land with a sparking jump button, you can either immediately go low or you can air dash into an overhead. It's not supposed to be a mix-up that you block multiple times. That's why sparking is so powerful for mix-ups like that. Like, the game doesn't want you to be able to do this, I don't think. So, when you can do that, I mean, you're a pretty fucking broken competitor, right? That's why it's so cool, because, like, you have Sonic running these offensive sequences and just mauling people. And then he plays against Goichi, and it looks like his offense doesn't even work. The only falling mix-up right here, he reflected out of it. That's That mix-up is very hard to block. He got a little... He didn't keep it tight. He saw it. If you have Kid Buu assist here, you can string into Kid Buu and then do it. But yeah. He sees it, reflects out. He's too good. The defensive options in Dragon Ball are actually pretty strong. Between like the dash OS, like stuff like reflect, reflect tag. Uh, the When you get knocked down by a slide knockdown, the options you have after are really, really good. There's like a lot of defensive options that are pretty vanish like there's quite a few options that are pretty good there are mix-ups that are supposed to be real mix-ups that hit you this is a game that is designed to be fast it's very fast paced and the threat of things like super dash exists at all times so the idea about this game is that you're not supposed to be able to play perfect and just like deal with every scenario right you have to make decisions to put yourself in a good spot to stop things if the game is fast then it is much more difficult to make the correct decision at all times because it's so quick that's why like very movement heavy styles that avoid situations like that are really good just like it's good to see the absence of color come through with the twitch prime thanks very much where is you guys have that blitz tank trailer so i didn't see this reveal at all all i heard that is that there's a tank damn the stare down are they gonna kiss the next fate oh the next version Estival versus who the fuck is this from Senren Kagura Estival versus what the fuck is Senren Kagura I've never heard of that titty game you're kidding me oh my god that looks insane Akatsuki blitz count Jesus Christ hold up how the fuck Where's the, how, where's the hurt box of the tank? Is it the entire thing? How, how do you, how do you fight against the tank? He got, he's got to be free to some characters. All right. Well, that looked pretty anime. How the fuck did they add a tank to the game? That seems unnecessary. And also maybe irresponsible. How the fuck are you supposed to fight against the tank? So can you throw the tank? Can the tank jump? What kind of treads is this tank packing? Tank can air dash? Okay. Yeah, he, he can be good. He's so big, there's no way you can't get hit. Unless he's just like, extremely oppressive. Like, his assist is crazy good. Oh yeah, I saw this picture of Merkava whipping the tank around and throwing his bitch ass. Yeah, you're dead, bro. You, you have no chance. That skull, that's you, motherfucker. You're dead. Why the hell did they do this, dude? This is the stupid... <laughs> This is the stupidest thing I've ever seen. Like, what can we do to possibly make Blaze Blue Tag the, the, most, the most meme shit ever? I want the eighth fate to just be Marvel or something. And it's just like they have fucking Wolverine in the game. Sentinel versus Blitz Tank. 
I would pay good money to watch Sentinel versus Blitztank. Providing assistance just gets fucking smacked by the treads. The Steve Guilty Gear reaction. As soon as that note hit, this is everybody's reaction. Yipes' poor arm is getting dragged around. <laughs> Yipes' arm. Esteban says, do you know how hard it is to keep this man in focus? The music? He immediately said the music. It almost got me too, I won't lie. The very end of the trailer, I was close. Steve's playing this character. I don't know who he is. And the final. <laughs> bruh. 2020, bro. 2020 is going to be a wild ass year for fighting games. I don't know if I'm ready. <laughs> 